This video was made possible by EA Game Changers. Hi guys, Rachel Bop here and welcome to my review of The Sims 4 Seasons Expansion Pack. Please excuse my voice. I'm extremely run down from creating so much Seasons content with what we got from EA Play. First of all, being at EA Play, then like get, trying to get all the footage done in time and now We've had early access to Seasons and it's all been awesome and I've loved every second but my goodness, my body is rebelling right now. So having the Seasons code recently, since we've been back from EA Play, this is the first opportunity that we've had as Game Changers to try it out with every other stuff pack and expansion and game pack installed, if that's what we have. So it's the first time I've been able to play with pets in the game and seasons, which is something I was really excited to try out. So I'm going to tell you my thoughts about the game as an entire experience now as it is with, it, with seasons and whether I think it's worth it for you to get the pack. As you may have seen in my previous videos, and may have picked up on, I'm very impressed with this pack because Seasons is such a great addition. Like with pets, it's kind of an unavoidable, can't help but be brilliant addition to the game. But there are some down points as well, I'll mention those as we go through. I did first of all notice that when I came into my game I used an old save and it automatically gave my Sims winter clothes, which I found, because I started in winter you basically choose which season you want to start the game in. I chose winter and it automatically put them in winter clothes which I thought was great because I didn't want them to die of cold and not realise what I was doing so that was really cool and obviously you can edit those in cast anyway if you want to. And you just find yourself wanting to look at everything in the snow. I spend a lot of time just zooming out and seeing how everything looks because the snow makes everything look beautiful. The first thing you'll experience if you go into winter, which I think most of you will because everyone just wants to see the snow, is Winterfest. Now all these different calendar events have different goals. You're not really rewarded so much if you do them or don't do them, but they're a nice little incentive to get involved in the holiday. They will vary depending on each sim and their traits of what you need to do within that holiday. And you can also customise any holiday, create your own holiday, you can have everyone running around naked and, and dance into the simlish version of Hot In Here if that's what you want. I really 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 love some of the build by items and the rainbow Christmas tree has to be my favourite. And I was also quite impressed that there was even a lump of coal in there. Everything that just made you thoroughly immersed in the holiday. I have had a few glitches, here you can see my pet glitch. It made me laugh so much though. While I don't like seeing glitches in the game and they can be annoying, this one made me laugh so much that I really don't care. <laughs> what I do care about though is there's no new pet stuff. I was quite surprised about that. There's no new pet stuff. I don't even know if there's anything for the pets to do that is new. They don't react to the snow. They just go on about their normal lives. They still have their footprints in the snow. They still have breath coming out when it's cold. You can still do all the normal stuff with them, but they don't react or do anything different. And I kind of thought, I don't know, I suppose you can't actually be the pet, so there's no need for them to put in an interaction. But I thought there might have been some new holiday outfits, maybe that's something they'll save for as the seasons actually come through and give us a free update, or maybe they'll do a pack, pet seasons pack. I don't know, but I was quite surprised that there weren't any things. I know it's kind of like, well, you'd need pets to have it, but I don't know. I just feel like because they're an addition later on, we kind of losing out. You do get toddler things and they're a late addition. I know it's a pack and I just was surprised. There's plenty of new stuff for all the ages in Cass and some really nice items. Father Winter is a great addition, as is the Scarecrow that you've seen in my other videos. Father Winter comes out of the fireplace after 8pm at Winterfest. Zero reaction from my Sims. You have to go up and interact and it's really cool, but again, he's quite slow. It, there's a lot of sitting down, getting up, turning around, trying to find out where I need to stand to give this present. It's all a bit robotic. 
There are some really nice fluent additions as well, like playing in the snow, playing in the rain, all that kind of thing makes it, do it does bring it to life and bring in the life and the more things they put in like that, the better it'll be. I did take my Sims on holiday to Selva Dorada. There was no snow there, it just rained. I don't know if it's possible to get snow there, you guys might know better than me if you tuned into social media a bit better. But I sub then I got myself thinking, actually when you go on holiday, how realistic is it when you go somewhere like that, that there is snow, it's not realistic to have it everywhere. So the fact that it rained but was really humid when I went is actually what you would expect on any different day than a sunny day in, when you go on holiday. There's lots of new songs, new TV channels, they're all very fun. You can make friends with Father Winter as well, so make sure you do that. And also make friends with your Scarecrow, chat to him, see what happens. The lighting I think is what sets everything alive, it's so incredibly lit and beautiful when the seasons change from one to the other and different temperatures get involved with different seasons and different weather types there's so many different combinations it's actually beautiful when you take your dog for a walk for example it's just you just kind of want to go along and trot along behind them because everything is just stunning the scouts are a great new addition you'll see a lot of kids walking around as scouts and you can be a scout yourself and work to get your badges. I think that's a nice touch that wasn't necessary but absolutely is brilliant. And again with the glitches. I like that while the snow is flat and all one level there's different extremities of snow and the cars kick up snow as they go past and people leave footprints and I just really like that. That makes it more lifelike. You can make New Year's resolutions when it's the New Year's holiday and there's just lots of things within things that you can kind of find out and dig up and I think we'll be finding, you'll get so much gameplay out of this pack, you'll be finding stuff forever afterwards. It's not something you could sit down and get done within an hour. I mean there's things that you can just go so much further with like ice skating, roll skating, everything, every combination of that through the seasons, the gardening skills, uh, the harvestables, the bees, uh, the honey making, there's so much stuff within this pack and an incredible amount of plus points. I'm going to give it four and a half big fat moves. I think it's an incredible addition, you'd be missing out if you didn't purchase it. There are some things that let it down. But they won't affect every player because not everyone has all the stuffs and expansions and game packs. And there's just so much within it. I mean there's the lightning, the, the weather changer, there's so much. Making your own holidays is such, was such a great idea. There's some absolute golden nuggets in there. I'm going to be streaming this pack over on Facebook. Yes, Facebook. I thought I'd give Facebook gaming live streaming a bit of a go. So join me over on my Facebook page. I'll put a link in the description. It's just facebook.com forward slash Rachiebop off of YouTube. Again, link in the description. Join me on there and we'll go through seasons together. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.